that this report predicts that uh, at least there's a 70% chance that at least one month in the next five years would exceed that 1.5 degree limit and that there's a 20% a chance that a whole year could exceed that limit, it, it shows how close we're getting to uh, what has the Paris Agreement is trying to prevent. But does it mean that the Paris Agreement itself is just impossible to reach now? Uh, it's not impossible, but uh, all, any delay just uh, diminishes the window uh, within which there will still be time to, to reverse these trends and to bring the temperature back uh, down into those, those limits. We're seeing uh, unprecedented temperatures in the Arctic region above the Arctic Circle, higher than have ever been recorded. Uh, we're having heat waves uh, around the planet that are often uh, the highest on record. We're having global temperatures every year that are either the highest on record or the second highest on record. We have predictions of even higher temperatures. And these processes are locked in for decades. The climate that we have now was generated by the combination of, of gases in the atmosphere that we had 30 years ago. So this is not something that can be stopped on a dime. It's like an ocean liner that takes a long, long time to turn. And that turn has to start quickly and be as fast as it can be. And this is the message that people in their daily lives and how they vote and every other way they should be concerned about. economic slowdown has um, attenuated the rise in the emissions. This is kind of a blip on the larger trend and the atmosphere and the, especially the oceans um, retain these gases for centuries and so um, we can't say oh now global warming is halted because of the economic slowdown associated with the pandemic. It will, the pandemic will be over and the um, the emission increases if they continue, the same processes will continue to occur.